Hey dear BTU students, this is Mohsen Ali and I welcome you all into my new series of passing packages that is especially for the makeup examinations. Okay, so examinations are very near now. Probably it is on 9th September. So it is better to start preparing now for each and every subject. Today I am with the subject Mathematics 1 for CSE stream BMAT S101. Uh, is it a subject to code okay so i am putting my efforts accordingly but uh, you should ask yourself also how much time you are spending on instagram how much time you are spending on snapchat okay and i am not making videos too long uh, suppose for 10 or 15 minutes my videos are almost four minutes or five minutes okay so you can easily get these five minutes and watch this video and whatever the questions i will discuss here you should definitely go through you can easily pass the subject okay this is my assurance to you guys who are here okay so let us start here model wise so from model first super important question is with usual notation prove that 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square plus 1 by r is power 4 dr by d theta whole square and also with usual notation prove that tan of y is equal to r d theta by dr this is six marks question they may ask you either this or this one okay so you should practice for both next is find the angle of intersection between the curves that is r is equal to e e theta and r e theta is equal to b r is equal to 6 cos theta and r is equal to 2 into 1 plus cos of theta you should practice at least three problems on this particular concept these two and another one okay so this is seven marks question next is find the radius of curvature of the curve x is equal to a log uh, sec of t plus tan of t y is equal to a sec of t at any point uh, so also you should go through three problems on the radius of curvature concept okay so it carries seven marks so only uh, these three concepts you should go through and you can easily get uh, 14 marks at least you will get 14 marks if you practice well okay next is model second we have here super important question that is expand a root of 1 plus sine 2x up to the term containing x raised power 4 using mclaren series also practice three problems other than this under root of 1 plus sine 2x no doubt this is super important one but uh, another uh, questions will be there so you should practice three problems from mclaren series also also my videos are available on this mclaren series and also for those notations which i discussed in module first next is if uh, u is equal to f of 2x minus 3y 3y minus 4z comma 4z minus 2x then prove that 1 by 2 ux plus 1 by 3 ui plus 1 by 4 uz is equal to 0 this is the derivation if u is equal to e power ax plus by f of ax minus by prove that b of dou u by dou x plus dou a dou u by dou y is equal to 2 a b u sometimes instead of this u they can give you z so b dou z by dou x a dou z by dou y is equal to 2 a b z so don't be confused this is the same derivation they can give you also u or sometimes z and if you are convenient with the extreme values of the function problems okay these are maxima minima if you are convenient so you should go through it it carries seven marks okay so mclaren series is for six marks and this question derivation is for seven marks okay so go through it next we have model third differentiation partial differentiation so solve dy by dx plus y uh, into 10 of x is equal to y cube of sec of x solo dy by dx plus uh, y by x is equal to x square y raised power 6 solo x into dy by dx plus y is equal to x cube y raised power 6 so go through these three questions surely one will come in the examination this is six marks question right next we have find the orthogonal trajectories of the family of the curves that is r n sine of n theta is equal to a power n where a is the parameter and second one r is equal to a into 1 plus sine theta r is equal to n to 1 minus cos of theta r n is equal to e raised power n cos of n theta these four you should surely go you should surely refer these four questions on orthogonal trajectories this carries seven marks so at least you will get uh, 13 marks from model third now we have model four some questions are here which you should go through find the unit digit in the remainder seven days for 289 find the remainder when 135 is equal to 74 into 48 is divided by 7 find the last digit in 7 raised power 289 comma 13 raised power 37 find the remainder when 146 is divided by 149 find the remainder when 2 raised power 23 is divided by 47 find the last digit in 7118 okay next is find the solutions of linear congruence 12x is equal to 6 mod of 21 similarly x 2 mod of 3 x 3 mod of 5 x uh, 2 mod of 7 by using crt okay these are the questions which you should refer from module 
forth okay now we have last module which is the passing module and uh, you should not leave any topic from this particular module it is a simple module where you have to calculate the rank of the matrix where you have to find out the rank of the matrix so you should practice four to five problems on this concept one is this uh, i have taken uh, this question from the previous year question paper and also this for makeup uh, paper over there okay so practice uh, four to five problems on rank of matrix also videos will be available i have uploaded already last time so it carries six marks solve the system of equation by using gauss jordan method x plus y plus z is equal to 9 x minus 3y plus 4z is equal to 13 3x plus 4y plus 5z is equal to 40 and next question is x plus y plus z is equal to 8 uh, minus x minus y plus 2z is equal to minus 4 3x plus 5y minus 7z is equal to minus 14 x plus y plus z is equal to 9 2x plus y minus z is equal to 0 2x plus 5 plus 7z is equal to 52 x plus 2y minus z is equal to 3 3x minus y plus 2z is equal to 1 2x minus 2y plus 3z is equal to these are system of equations which you have to solve by gauss jordan method it is seven marks question definitely vt will ask one among these questions so you should practice these four questions from gauss jordan method and also if you are convenient with the Rayleigh's power method to find eigenvalue and eigenvector so go through it and uh, you can also refer gauss seidel method which also carries seven marks so you should get 20 marks from module fifth okay this is compulsory this is compulsory to get 20 marks from module fifth see here now how you can pass so these are 20 marks if you are getting then it becomes comfortable it becomes easy for you to pass the subject and also you should get uh, from module 4 at least i'm telling here that is 10 marks so 10 marks from here so this is worth 30 marks okay and from module third you should get again i'm taking least case that is 10 marks okay so this is worth 30 uh, 20 plus 10 is 30 plus 10 is 40 right 40 and also these uh, six are fixed 40 plus 6 is 46 uh, i will not take another marks if you are not convenient with the question so 46 i'm taking and also these seven uh, marks if you are going through three or four problems from angle of intersection okay so 46 plus 7 that is 53 and from this i will take only six marks so 53 plus 6 is 59 marks so you are total totally getting 59 out of 100 okay so surely if you are attempting this much you can easily pass mathematics subject but only condition is you should practice mathematics is not the subject by simply by hearting the concepts by hearting the uh, derivations it is all about practice more you practice more you will be good in the mathematics subject and you can easily pass mathematics subject okay so i wish you all the best for your examinations dear so make sure you will share this passing package to all your friends and batchmates so that they can also solve varieties of questions and also i will provide uh, previous year question papers okay drive link i will provide in the description and also in my and also on my instagram account okay thank you